Okay, so starting at the top with number one, on the paper you can label it Lesson 3-3 Practice. And then number one. I'm going to rewrite those three equations just so I have them all in one place. So it'll be A, B, and C. A, B, and C. And I'm just going to rewrite them as is. I noticed that if I write like this, it doesn't cover up. It's kind of a weird way to write. Okay. Then negative 2x minus 5y minus 2z equals 12. Okay. Then I can put this off to the side so it's not distracting. So there's the three equations. So what I'm looking for is two equations that two of these equations that I can add together and one of the variables will cancel out. So I notice if I like add B and C, my Y will cancel out, which is cool. Or if I add A and, a and C, the Y will cancel out there. So that's the ones that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do A and C to get the Y to cancel out there and then B and C, because the Y will also cancel out. <coughs> For these, I don't need to multiply by anything because they're just going to cancel out as is. When I, now that I have them lined up, I just add it up. Negative 6x plus z equals 22. Is this what you noticed, Trout? No. It's oh. Okay. So then add this. So when we add the y's, it cancels, but in this case, the z's also cancel as well, which makes a nice situation for us, because um, then we just get negative 4x equals 16. So this would be our d, this would be our e, and normally we'd have to add them together to get one more to cancel, but in this case, um, we can just solve for x right away and x equals negative four. So we already got one of our variables. So remember, we're trying to get x, y, and z. So our x is negative four. Once we have that, then we can plug this in over here and solve for z. Last step, once we have two of the variables, we can use one of the originals, plug in whichever variables we haven't solved for the one we don't. So for A, I'm gonna plug in everything I know. There we go.
what's wrong. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot. This is like bridging into like college level math. Um, obviously, like on the SATs, it's so fast. Like you probably won't see one of these on the SATs. This is going higher. We, we, we could see uh, the two though, right? If it's two of them. Yeah, the two variable ones will definitely be on there, unlike the SATs. Yeah, we know yeah. that. We know that. But the three, we're getting up there now. Okay. So yeah, so. how come? Why do this one, the three variable, then if it won't be on the SAT? Um, because you're preparing for college. I mean, think about it. Like, after Algebra 2, every math class is really geared toward college. So you get A, B, and C for number 2. I'm just rewriting the ones that are on the worksheet right here. So I'm looking for two I can add together to get stuff to cancel. Um, I notice the X's will cancel here. So if I do A and B, my X will cancel. And then if I do A and C, the X's will cancel. So that's what I'm going to do. Wait, which one? I'm doing... Oh, both of them. Yeah, I'm doing A and B and then A and C. You can do like any pair. Like you could do B and C, but then I'll have to multiply to get it to cancel. So... x minus x will be 0, y plus negative z equals 5. In this case, we have two variables cancel again. They're being too easy on us. So sometimes we do have to add D and E to get another variable to cancel, but in this case, we can just solve for Z as is. And then once we have Z, we can plug it into D right here. Y equals two. What what the negative? So yeah, so minus negative three, yeah, it becomes positive. And then once we have two variables, we can plug it into one of the originals and solve for the third. We're still writing. Oh. Ready? Okay. okay. Ready? 
erase it. Next. Okay, I'll go back to it if you need to at the end. So number three. Starting by just writing the original equations, A, B, and C. Let's see what we got for number three. And just taking it right from the worksheet. How tired of this are you usually at the end of the day? I actually find this really relaxing. I know that might sound weird. Does anybody else find solving equations like just calming? Or is it? I'm just weird. <laughs> no, you're weird. I don't know. But I was just like, they're doing the same problem. You know what over I and over. get? No, the math doesn't tire me out. Like I said, I kind of find it relaxing. I don't know, maybe it's just my brain. But the what wears me out is talking. Like, I'm actually kind of an introvert. <laughs> actually, really an introvert. If you run into me in real life, I'm very shy. Katie knows. <laughs> Katie ran into me. Well, I ran into her at her work. She works at, um, what's it called? Skillets? Yeah. It was good. I love skillets. It was really I, I good. I only go there every, like, once in a blue moon, but it's good. Yeah, I tried it because it was on some of your, like, recommendations for restaurants. It's a brand new place. I think it's new. Okay, so, let's see. I need stuff to cancel again. I look, A and C, my Ys will cancel, so let's do that. Good call. Yeah, what were you thinking about doing A and Or you could do Or just B by two. Like Oh wait, okay. So if you wanted to do A and B you would have to multiply this by negative two. Or you could do B and C and just multiply B by two. Like because then you wouldn't have to mess with the negative. I'm gonna do that. B and C and B I'm gonna multiply by two. And then just gonna write it like you've already multiplied it all by two. Correct, yeah, so I don't have to write it twice. Something that's kind of interesting I've noticed from teaching is when my body starts getting hungry, I start making more mistakes. Like if it's right before lunch and I'm hungry, it's kind of an interesting experiment. So if you're hungry, your mind does make more mistakes. I can't think clearly. Why never do breakfast so more hungry in the morning? Do you drink coffee? Like how do you not go like... I only need two meals. It's just kind of, I just get hungry. I I, it's recent. I've just I realized mm -hmm. I only need two meals a day. Yeah, I would say most people like. I don't know if I bring a drink. My body just is, is adapting to that. Like, yeah. like, it's cheaper. I think most people would say like two full meals would be plenty. Anyways, okay, so we have to add D and E together to get something else to cancel. Um, I can't do two by anything to get five unless I want to do decimals, and I don't. So maybe three times two would give me the six, or times negative two would give me negative six. So I'm gonna multiply this by negative two to get negative six x.
And then 32 minus 14 or plus. Yeah, let's see. Negative 18. Thank you. And then from here, z equals 2. Then this can be plugged in to either D or E, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then from there, now that I have two variables, I can just choose one of the originals to plug it in. <laughs> so when you get to college like calculus and stuff which for some of you that'll be your starter class in college if you do well on the SATs they put you right into calc one um like your freshman year of college if you're I guess a science or math major. And they'll just like put one, they'll give you like a blank sheet of paper like this. They'll have one problem on the top of the paper. So like a blank sheet of, and they'll have one problem and then they'll give you two pages to solve it. Two pages yeah, to solve it. it's not multiple choice. They just like grade the work and the answer. Yeah, it's like a lot of steps. It literally, you put all this together and yeah. Sure. Yeah. And I had, I never studied in math in high school, like, because I mean, you, it's kind of hard to study math, or that's what I thought. And it wasn't until college, I had a friend who was a, who's a homeschooler, and she was like the best study partner. She could take any textbook and learn something, like, figure it out from a textbook. So I guess if you were homeschooled, then she was used to that, but she was like academically, like, amazing because she, she could just teach herself anything. I don't have a long enough attention span to do a math problem across two pages. Yeah. yeah. One problem. I don't know. Pages. Yeah, and then she, I remember the day of, I, it was like a night class, so the day of the class she was like, do you want to come study with me in, you know, what, whatever room? And it was this room, like, and it just had old-fashioned chalkboards all around the room, and we just, like, used all of them to solve the problem. I don't know. It was the best way to study, but That's I did well. Crazy. Hey, we've done three problems in the team. Anyways, three. number four. How many are we going to do? All of them. No. Slowly. No. A lot of those freshman classes, like calculus or chemistry, are used to weed out people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. It is. So they, like, want half the class to fail. Like, well, not, maybe they don't want it, but they want to weed out those that aren't going to succeed. No, but those that didn't study failed the test. I didn't even know how to study, honestly. I was lucky I had that friend. Because in college, everybody's smart. It's just a matter who studies more. Because I don't like subtraction. <laughs> it's personal preference. Okay, what do we want to cancel? I'm going to have the 
Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking A and C, you guys said A and C and then B and C because it'll the Y's will cancel. A C B C. A C B C. A C and then B and C. Taking it easy on us again. Then BC. Um, they took it easy on us again. We can just solve this one as is. And then once we get that, plug it in. Something to take note of, though, is... I took classes at a community college while I was still in high school, which you guys can do too. It's called dual enrollment. Um, but the advisors there advise classes differently than the universities. So for example, at the community college, they have everybody start in college algebra if you have a decent SAT score, which college algebra is really just, it's this, it's the same math as this. Um, but when you go to a university, they'll have you go right in calculus. So I actually wasted time and credits taking math classes at the community college when the university just has you go to higher classes. Are you doing the same thing as Like, when I went to, like, the advising appointment at the community college, they said, okay, here's the four math classes that you're supposed to take. But then when I went to a university, they said, oh, no, you don't have to take college algebra or anything. Like, you already did that in high school pretty much. So I don't know why it was different. So if you did it, you still would have to take them in college? What do you mean? Like, if you didn't take those classes in high school, then you would have to take them in college. So, like, I did my the regular route that you do. Like, um, well, eighth grade, algebra one honors, right? And then geometry honors, ninth grade. So eighth, ninth, which some of you did this, or maybe you're one year behind, but that's okay. Tenth was algebra two honors, 11th, they called it trig, but like pre-calc, and then 12th, AP calculus, like that. But then when I was taking classes at the community college, they said, well, here's your track, you're gonna go, you're gonna take college algebra, and then whatever else is after that, this is the community college. But then when I went to USF and started my freshman year, they put you right in calculus um, if you have a high enough SAT score. So I this is a waste of time in the community college. So if you're gonna do dual enrollment, make sure that wherever you're going is where you're getting the advising from, not the community college. Life hack, I don't know. Something that I wish I would've known. <laughs> or if you take like summer classes at the community college or whatnot. Anyways, and yes, I had a new teacher for AP Calc, so I didn't pass the Calc. AP exam, but then in college when you take calculus, you can ace those classes. So even if you don't pass the AP exams, it's still good to take it because then you'll ace your college class on that. Anyways, where were we? Finding why. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just taking A, plugging in X and Z.
yeah, I don't know why I wrote that. Thanks. I'm done. I was gonna do the word problem with you, but eh, we good. We good. Okay. We're good. We're good.